a lot of Karens on our page. We don't care about you Karens, okay? We don't care. We can care less. We're eating good. We're living good. We don't care about the Karens, okay? So as you guys can see, the single mother with seven children by seven baby daddies who says that she's getting 3K in food stamps is doing what we probably should have expected a chick like this to do, doubling down. What you got to say, son? Now, like I said, we do not care about the Karens in the comments because what y'all saying negative about us, baby, we eating good over here. That freezer is full and that deep freezer is full, baby. So what you got to say? Y'all you, ain't got nothing else to say about what we got to do. What we living and how we living and how we doing it. Y'all mad and y'all depressed. Hey, bye. Misery loves company. And that's the end of that story. Misery loves company. We don't care about you Karens. You Karens can go somewhere else. Don't come on my page if you don't like what we post. Okay? Karen, mm -hmm. remove yourself. Politely block button. The truth is she's kind of right. There are a bunch of Karens underneath her comment section who appeared after she decided to open her mouth and tell the rest of the world her business. No one made her do this. No one forced this chick to get online and brag about getting 3K in food stamps or whatever the actual number might be. But you say that and you brag online and you're gonna get comments like this person who says, wait until you get cut off on government assistance. Cause I just called on y'all today. And this is what she had to say. Okay, you're saying you call them today. Do you want a reward for that? Because at the end of the day, I'm not going to get in trouble. They're not going to do anything to me. They're not. Thank you. And like I said in my other video, man, I don't think most people who stumble on this chick's video want to see her kids not have food. I think it's the whole gloating about it. And to people who are like, oh, just let her live. If anything, if anything, this chick and men who agree with this and think like her need to get called out for thinking it's okay to continue having a bunch of kids out of wedlock. Not just because she posted this video that says, when you finna find your eighth baby daddy tonight. No, not just because of that video where she's trying to troll. I truly do think that this isn't the end and last of the children who unfortunately will be born to a broken home on purpose. It's the on purpose and being okay with this level of dysfunction. Another woman here says, damn, you're about to get kicked off. Trust and believe. F your family by getting on here bragging. You know, whatever we do on here is being recorded and now they're going to look at you. Now there are a bunch of people talking about how she might be lying about the actual amount and figure and it may not actually be 3K regardless of what it is. I would not put it past the internet to have time to call. Like we saw in the other video, there are a lot of people who are struggling right now. The economy's down and people have time. Listen, when the internet starts talking about calling bosses and jobs, that's one thing I've seen they will follow through with for whatever reason. Maybe it's the easy accessibility to be able to reach out to those employers. Now, I'm not encouraging this. I personally wouldn't put any time and effort to that extent, but I do think this issue needs to be highlighted for sure. Another woman here says, you're pathetic as a woman battling breast cancer and not asking for a damn thing and working in between bad days to make ends meet and pay for my med bills. At least I'm not taking advantage. To that, she responded this. Oh man, the trolling is crazy. The trolling is crazy. Man, I know y'all ain't embarrassing y'all self for the couple of cents on this damn app, man. I just saw a video where a lady is screaming in a camera of saying how she got seven children with seven different baby daddies and she's saying how she received $3,000 worth of food stamps. First of all, I think uh, it's very embarrassing to come on and admit, but I mean, if it ain't no shame in your game, I guess, you know, you get your engagement the way you get your engagement, but eventually this going to die out. Right. Like, nobody's going to really give a damn about you having seven children no more. And I noticed a lot of her other videos are flopping because she making her whole niche about her uh, receiving food stamps and paying for 
shit with her boosting part when we know that's not true. Now, you probably can go to a gas station and get a pizza and some wings and some pop with a boosting part, but you ain't going... I ain't never seen nobody buy no damn wings to go with no food stamp card. You, you're not going to make me believe that. Maybe if you had a different niche, you know, you could you could tell different things about yourself and you can get engagement. But just making it your whole thing is not a good it's not a good idea because people going to watch you for a little while and then you're going to be a one hit wonder. Hell, you get three thousand dollars in food stamps, start cooking some shit, make right. a cooking channel. Damn. Then don't you think about the children's reputation at school? They're going to make a mockery out of them damn children. They're going to roast you as hard as hell. And them children going to have to deal with bullying and harassment. That is the worst part of this situation overall. She may be exaggerating a bunch of the stuff that she's saying, but she definitely does have what it looks like are a plethora of kids. She has actual videos of her kids are all surrounded her people really people really want people to ignore people who are setting children up for failure no it's time we start calling that out it's time we start calling that out more and more and i see more now than ever that even the chicks who stumble on these type of videos are fed up and done with it and listen you can't underestimate the impact this is making on the younger women especially black women who are up and coming trust and believe they see these videos and if they don't have kids they're thinking twice. They're like, ah, not me. I know you got Medicaid. Get some damn therapy. Get you a journal. Stop oversharing all your damn business with the whole world. You ain't going to stay viral for very long, baby. This is going to be short-lived. And you done embarrassed yourself for a couple of dollars in front of everybody. Final comment here says not to shame another woman, but you glorify living off the system as a vibe. You're raising our future men and women. Where's your work ethic? Proud to live up to the stereotype of black women. Sad. Listen, as always, what do you think? Leave your comments and thoughts down below. The truth is there are women and black women who look at this and they don't think like this. They don't embrace this culture. They're actively right now raising up young men and women we see it all the time i just did a video of it recently and they're calling this shit out too and this video is oddly similar to another video i did of another woman this was a white woman who had like five or six kids i don't know if you guys remember it was the white chick with the tattoos all over by six different men that's crazy right all that needs to get called out as well appreciate you guys till next time i'm out peace